You're in a standard dimension. You're not going to be a good enough fighter. Certainly not. And uh, the fourth dimension, they're a local team. Adam Nottingham, really good guys. Loads of people here to support them. Yeah. We've been looking forward to this fight. Again, the featherweight division, just like the lightweight division, is, is setting itself up to be stacked here at Battle Arena. A lot of people looking to, to challenge for those titles. The, title, the world title currently held by Duncan Jalali, who unfortunately lost a very close decision for the bantamweight title, was looking to be a two-weight weight title holder here at Battle Arena. And Max Lewinsky wants to put himself into the running for those title shots. Everybody likes to collect belts. And Max Levinsky is looking if he can get one step closer to Battle Arena gold. And this is Battle Arena. We are in Nottingham. It's the first time Battle Arena's come to Nottingham. And what an event it has been. We've got a huge crowd, sell out, all the seats are full as people stood around the edge. And we've had some amazing fights so far, some knockouts, some submissions, some controversial decisions. It's been an incredible night of fights. And all of it's been brought to you by Viking Warrior Nutrition. .co.uk Jake Stark, he's coming into this fight 1-0, trying to build on that record, get his second win. He's been training for two years and he feels like he's a freestyle fighter. He can grapple, he can strike, he can wrestle, he's good at everything. And what everyone's been saying is that he picks his shots, he's not a brawler. He's technical, good footwork, good head movement, and he can knock people out. Exactly, and with that, that experience in the cage, that one fight, we saw that Jake Stark can really put his mark on any fighter that he's going coming up against. And I have to say I'm a bit biased because I was speaking to some of the crowd today. Jake Stark has brought his, brought his grandmother and his mother here. He's obviously very confident about this fight. He wants to show what he can do to his family members. And sometimes having people around you that you love and that love you can give you that little extra lift as we get into the later rounds when you need to feel that little bit of inspiration to push on because this is a very grueling unforgiving cage here at Battle Arena. And one man, only one man, can walk out of it victorious in this fight. The one thing I feel that uh, Jake Stark's got to watch for in this fight, don't sleep on the grappling of Max Lewinsky. A couple of people, the rumor is that he's a really serious grappler and if this goes to the floor, it's gonna be one-sided. But that's discounting the grappling of Jake Stark, which we know is good. Where will this fight go? How will it end? It's very exciting. And tapper snapper. 0-1-1 oh, one one tonight. One loss, one draw. I know they want to be in the win column. They want to have a great showing for this hometown crowd. Jake Stark might be the exact man to make that happen today at this 66 kilo featherweight fight. A good walkout music. Start wearing shorts straight from the 90s. There's a coolness in the eyes of the dim fourth dimension fighter, Max Levinsky. There is, he does look supremely confident. As does Jake Stark. Oh, I'm just watching. Yeah. Ooh, that inside leg kick is always difficult. It does ride up if you're inside a bit too ball high. kick. Can make such a difference here in fights. Uh, I read some st statistic online about how often the guys that have been kicked in the ball actually go on to win the fight. And it's, 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 it's surprising that it can make such a difference. It can really mess with your psychology. It's best to do what Max has done and get back to it as quickly as you can. Mm -hmm. Don't want to let it run your hand. Big left hook there. Doesn't land quite for Jake Stark, but definitely gives Max Levinsky something to think about. I like that sneaky left. Max Levinsky with a push kick, and he comes over for the takedown. Lovely takedown there. Now, this is the grappling that everyone's been talking about. Will Max show off these grappling skills that he's rumored to have, or will Jake be able to just, at the moment, he's just muscling his way through. Nice headlock there from Jake Stark. Max Levinsky with the up, the underhook there on the left side. Oh, great knee, knee right cheeky little knee. Another one comes through, and it looks like it has Jake wincing. Looks like that's done something to Jake. Jake's not letting any of the Very worried about these through. knees. I think it did some damage. They were sneaky, and I think Jake was coming forward, which probably just made them that much worse. Yeah, when That's you're stretched out, they can really dig in. Very impressed by Max's calmness. 
very composed, picking his shots. But Jake Rock in the cage with his driving him back into the fence. Love to see Jake get his hands locked here, which he does. And can he circle away from the cage? Pick that leg up and circle away because we've got a strong cross face there from Max Levinsky. Ooh. Ooh. That one someone's gonna, someone's gonna feel that neck tomorrow. <laughs> and Jake can push that, that left elbow off. Good. Max is the wizard. Stop Jake getting to his back. Very intelligent grappling. And Max uses it to stand back up. People, crowd is calling for oh, knees, another knee. Excellent hand. knees to the body again. He aims it so beautifully as well. He's making he sure he's not hitting the head. Lovely. Last one didn't have much to it. Oh, sits him down. Very smooth right, grappling transition. Max Levinsky in his own corner right now. He's getting instruction directly from his coaches. Max being clever not to get over commit to the grappling there. Could have got rolled off the front. Really composed fighter. I'm very impressed by Max Lewinsky. Jake Stark doing the right thing. He's trying to pummel in there. Try to turn and face Max Lewinsky. But he's in doing that, he's going to expose his abdomen possibly to more knees. Which as I say it, there Max Lewinsky. Oh, he's very surrender. worried about these knees. He might have suffered a rib injury or something. That's not the way to defend and these. Know, and you know as well as I do, Chris, once that belly is soft, it's softened. He's going to feel it no matter what. Big right hand comes through for Jake Stark. You've got to see the redness on the, the thigh of Max Lewinsky. So he's got a finger in the eye. Oh, no. Max Lewinsky is taking it in his balls and eye today. Oh, great leg kick. we got a 10-second... Warning there from the end of the first oh, round. Oh, left, left hook. hook lands. And again. Oh, another knee. Excellent work. <laughs> I'm very impressed by Max Lewinsky. Super calm at the beginning, very composed, moving well. He took a heavy leg kick. You can see the massive red line on his thigh, but it doesn't seem to have slowed him down at all. Those knees to the body are so well placed, just precise sniper knees. And just thrown with, with no loading up whatsoever. So they're just smooth and they're just cutting through the body of Jake Stark. Jake Stark's got a lot to think about as he wants to turn the tide. See an ice pack being rubbed onto the yeah. rib cage of Jake Stark. It's and a Jake Stark worrying. whispered into his coach's ear. Fighters don't really talk unless they're telling them there's something wrong. So maybe he's taken some damage to the body or he's been a little bit hurt. He's got a and now it can affect your takedowns too because you're not exactly going to belly flop onto your opponent to make that, those things happen. I think Max Lewinsky needs to just throw more of those knees, do a bit more of the same. It's hard to see what Jake Stark's got to do to mix up this fight. Maybe shoot from takedowns, get on top. I like that cheeky left hook that Jake Stark threw, but then we saw Lewinsky throw, throw the same technique twice. There we go, left hook there lands. The kicks are looking to be mixed up, boom. A little bit of a drop shift there from Oh, the knee again. Vicious, vicious and quick. In such succession there as Lewinsky throw these. Great takedown. Oh, nice little wrestler's headlock there. Tossed him to the floor. Max looking to pass straight away. He's clearly a good grappler. Let me see Jake Stark try to slow him down here. Maybe locking his own guard. He's got that, that kind of scissor sweep position, but that one's so easy to crush down for a, for a crafty grappler like Lewinsky. Max Power Levinsky. Max did a really good job of staying on top, not letting him get back to his feet. Now Jake's got Max on his back. Oh, and Max being very smart to land knees into that sciatic nerve can make it very hard to stand up. Dig right in below the butt. We can see possibility of a of a hip toss coming or maybe a suplex, but Levinsky opts to go go to the uh, seatbelt momentarily, and now you can look for him to be able to land those knees up the middle. I think Jake Stark is worrying too much oh, about Levinsky's oh. doing. I think the knee to the body finished him. Was it a knee to the head? Are they calling it a legal knee to the head? Very interesting. They're looking to continue. But it looked like Jake Stark was all but finished there, man. Yeah, cool, man. Cool. Max Lewinsky, can I give you a fight name? You are the technician. Yes, indeed. Look at this. So loose, oh, so controlled here. Beautiful. Unfortunately, Jake Stark just didn't have the forward momentum there for the double. But there we're seeing more knees come to the body. 
hate to call it here, but Jake Stark is looking oh, for a way out. Oh, great uppercuts. Alan Jackson. Uh, it's going to be stopped pretty soon. Referee takes a close look. That's a good stoppage. That's a good stoppage. Excellent, incredible work from Max Lewinsky. We have a star on our hands. Precision striking, grappling, wrestling. He's good at everything. And he was so fluid and so so strong in the in every position that he ended up in. It was actually quite a quite a performance there from Max Lewinsky. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Max Lewinsky in some of the biggest shows in the world in a few years. He has got such a well-rounded skill set and so composed. Thank you. 